Hey guys, this is Dank87. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reverse gravity so that you can walk upside down. Now you don't have to be this guy to be able to do it. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man at your service. Up and over. Maximum Spider! Does what a spider can. Instead, we can actually use logic to do it ourselves. So here we have our area where we can reverse gravity and we can move around as normal, jump, and we're completely upside down. Some of you smarty pants might already realize that this is the same logic in the adventure map Flip Flopped Filios, where you get to go upside uh, down. Look at this, down is up, up is down. <laughs> Very amusing, I think. As you can see, this also reverses gravity and you can run around, jump, and do all kinds of things that you'd normally be able to do on the ground. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. First, we're going to make our upside down floor. So I'm going to just use cardboard as for the demonstration. And I'm going to make the floor about this long. Obviously, you can change yours, it doesn't really matter. Then we are going to grab some sticker panel. You can also use hologram for this, but it has to be invisible. So we're going to, using the snap grid, use two thick and we're going to place it all along where the floor is. We're going to change this to invisible and I'm also going to make this red so we can tell the difference. Then we are actually going to make the area that you can, that pulls you, which is inverted gravity. So I'm going to choose the whole area from the floor. And we're going to leave the red making sure not to go over any of our red sticker panel already placed. Then we are going to grab a tag and we're going to place it on the red sticker panel and I'm going to name this tag, I'm going to colour it red and I'm going to name it floor. That's it for our red sticker panel. Then we are going to place a broadcast microchip onto our white sticker panel. This is where all of our upside down logic is going to live. We're going to make this all in contact and touching included. And then we are going to place inside our broadcast microchip a controllinator. We are going to set this controllinator to be a receiver of the nearest player. First up, what we're going to do is create gravity itself. So we're going to get a microchip we're going to place it in the controllinator. We are then going to get, grab our mover and we are going to set this mover to 0 left and right and 7 up. So that's plus 7. Then our deceleration and acceleration to 55%. Then we are going to grab a impact sensor And we are going to change this impact sensor to allow touching, so include touching. To be required with a tag, and our tag is going to be the red and floor tag. Then we are going to grab an inverter, so a not gate. And we are going to place the output of the impact into the not gate. And the not gate output into our mover. For now we can leave our gravity alone. So we can close down that microchip. Now we're going to add another microchip. I'm going to make this one slightly larger so we can see what we're doing. This microchip is for our rotation. So first of all, we're going to need to go and grab a character rotation tweaker. Set all the values to zero. And we are also going to set its input action to positional. Then we are going to grab a battery. We're going to set this battery to 50% and we're going to take the output and put it into our input of roll on our character rotation tweaker. Then we are going to grab another battery. We're going to set this battery to 25%. Then we are going to get a AND gate. Then we are going to grab the output of our battery and place it into the first port of our AND gate. 
Then we are going to grab our left and right from our left stick and place it into the other port of the AND gate. Then we need another identical setup to what we have already. So we are going to grab another AND gate and another battery. This battery, however, is going to be set to minus 50%. Then again, we are going to place the output of the battery into the top AND gate port. Then we need another NOT gate, and we are going to place the left and right from the left stick into the NOT gate, then the NOT gate's output into the second port of our AND gate. Next up we need an OR gate. We're going to place down our OR gate and then the output of the OR gate we are going to place into the YAW of our character rotation tweaker. Then we are going to grab our first AND gate output and place it into the input of the OR gate. Next up we are going to need a direction combiner. We are going to set this to Anglify inputs. Then once again we're going to grab our AND gate, the first one, and place it into the plus of our combiner, and the second AND into the minus of our combiner. Then our output from the combiner into the OR gate. And that completes all of our work on our rotation. Next up we're going to grab another microchip. This microchip is going to be for our movement. Just going to make this one larger as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is an advanced mover. We're going to place this down. Our speed is around 4 as normal, and we want 100% acceleration and deceleration. Then we are going to grab an AND gate and we are going to place the output of the AND gate into the on and off of our advanced mover. Then we are going to grab our left and right from our left stick and place it into the left and right for our advanced mover. Then we are going to need to open up our gravity microchip, grab the output of the impact sensor and place it into the first port of the AND gate. Now we're going to work on our jumping. So again we're going to need an AND gate. And then a timer. This will be a countdown timer. Place our output from our AND gate into the timer. Then we are going to set our timer to 0.3. And it is going to be a countdown timer. Then we are going to grab our mover, place the mover down, take the output from the timer into the mover. Then we are going to have no right and left speed, but we are going to have minus 3 down speed. We are going to move the acceleration up to 80% and the deceleration down to 0%. We are also going to change it to be a strength scale on its input action. Then we are going to grab a NOT gate and place the output of the timer into the NOT gate and the output of the NOT gate into our second port for our AND gate that we made above. Then we are going to grab our X button from our control later and place it into the first port of our AND gate and then we are going to grab the output of our first AND gate place it into the second port of our second AND gate. Then we are going to make our left and right movement while we jump. So we're going to grab a, another advanced mover. We are going to leave the speed at 4, but we are going to change the acceleration to 80% and leave the deceleration at 0. Then we are going to grab our left and right stick and place it into the left and right of our advanced mover. Then we are going to open up our gravity again, grab our NOT gate output and place it into the on-off action of our advanced mover. 
Last but certainly not least, we are going to need to create another microchip for our animations. So we're going to start off by using speed sensors. So we're going to place down a speed sensor. And we're going to make the speed of this one 0 0.1 in any direction. Then we are going to grab an AND gate and place the output of the speed sensor into the first port. Then we are going to go into our movement, not the gravity, sorry, the movement and our first AND gate. We are going to grab the output and place that into the second port of our AND gate in our animations. Then for our animations, we need to grab an animation tweaker. Character animation tweaker, sorry. We're going to set this animation to our running animation. So I'll use fast walk. Then place the output of the AND gate into our fast walk animation tweaker. Then we are going to copy each piece of logic, so all three, including its inputs, so we need to push, put the second port in, and we are going to invert our speed sensor. Then we are going to change the animation to idle. This is for our standing still. Then we need another character animation tweaker. This will be for our jump going to grab jump and we are going to open up our gravity again the output from our not gate into the animation tweaker of the jump and now we can test our fruits of our labor and there you are I'm now running upside down on the cardboard running along sometimes you get a little bit of a uh, merge into the cardboard to make it obvious where your anti-gravity is, you could use the same as what they did in their adventure map, and they used um, stars. So you can place the stars so that they're scrolling up in the place, exact place where your anti-gravity is. That way it looks pretty much exactly the same as what they did. Um, there are a lot more things that you can do with this. Here's my earlier prototype. Um, for instance, with the animations, I have set lots of animations so that you can have different speeds of walk just like you can when you're on the ground you can have different jump styles for what depending on whether you're moving or not and there we have it guys right well i hope you all have fun with this i hope you make some really cool levels and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial well thanks for watching guys keep tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe cheers guys see you later <laughs>